Leia here from LeiaFirstSci.com, and in this video, we're going to look at Lewis structures specifically for radicals. As a reminder, most of organic chemistry is going to feature an electron pair. This means the bond between two atoms is a pair of electrons, or a lone pair of electrons is another pair of electrons. Radicals, which show up less frequently, refer to a lone electron. That means a single electron without a pair, without a partner, making it unstable and very reactive. When it comes to Lewis structure for radicals, we're going to use the same approach that I teach for regular Lewis structures, which you can find linked below, or see video 5 in my OrgoBasics series at layerforsci.com slash OrgoBasics. As a reminder, the checklist includes atoms, octet, electrons, and formal charge. Let's start with an easier example, the superoxide ion, or O2 minus. We'll keep an eye on the checklist, starting with atoms. In this case, because we have two oxygen atoms and nothing else, we don't start with a more or a less electronegative atom. We just have two oxygens, so we place them next to each other. Atoms check. The next step, even though we know we're not going to keep all the electrons, is still to fill the octet. Again, this is different from what you typically learn, but it's a foolproof way to make sure that everything is accounted for and that you don't miss steps. To complete the octet, we'll add three lone pairs to each oxygen atom so that with a bond between them, they each have eight electrons. Octet is complete. Electrons is where we'll find the difference between a radical and a non-radical and figure out what the heck is going on. We start with how many electrons we should have on this radical ion. Each oxygen has six electrons, times two gives us 12, plus one more electron for that negative charge for a total of 13. This right here, this is your clue that we're dealing with a radical because electron pairs are pairs. They're even. And when you're dealing with an odd number, you have a lone electron that is not bound to anything that is not paired with anything. We should have 13 electrons. How many do we have on the current molecule? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. We have 14 electrons. We should have 13. That means all we have to do is knock off one and we're good to go. Because we're dealing with two oxygen atoms, it doesn't matter which one I choose. So randomly, I'll knock off this electron. That means we subtract one from the 14 that we had initially, giving me a total of 13. I should have 13. I'm good to go, but I'll only confirm it after completing the checklist, which means I need to check formal charge. We'll use the formal charge shortcut that I also teach in the Orgo Basics series link below. Should minus has. Oxygen should have six. Directly attached to this oxygen, we have two, four, six, seven. Six minus seven equals negative one, and this gives me the negative charge for this ion. And then we'll look at the oxygen on the right. Oxygen on the right should have six. Directly attached, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Remember, this one's no longer here because we crossed it out. And if I should have six and directly attached, I have six, that means the formal charge is zero. Let's redraw it because it looks a bit of a mess right now. We have oxygen single bound to oxygen. The left oxygen has three lone pairs and a formal charge of negative one. The right oxygen has two lone pairs and one unpaired radical electron with no formal charge. For the next example, we'll look at nitrogen monoxide, or NO, which is somewhat tricky, but comes up often enough to recognize. The reason NO is tricky is that you're given two simple atoms, nitrogen and oxygen. There's no charge, nothing looks off about it, so you expect to have a regular drawing. Let's use the checklist and start with atoms. We have just two atoms, so we'll place them next to each other with a single bond between them. Atoms check. Next, we'll look at octets. Since they have one bond between them, we'll add three lone pairs to each atom. Including the bond, they each have a total of eight electrons. But how many electrons should this molecule have? We have five valence electrons for nitrogen, 
and 6 valence electrons for oxygen for a total of 11. Once again, we have an odd number. That means there's going to be one unpaired electron giving us a radical. Where's that radical? Let's find out. Our current version of this molecule has a total of 14 electrons. According to our calculation, we need only 11. That means we have to get rid of 3 electrons. In the Lewis structure video, we learned how to reduce the electron count by 2. Anytime you have two neighboring atoms that each have a lone pair. By canceling a lone pair on nitrogen and canceling a lone pair on oxygen, each atom lost two electrons. But placing a bond between them gives them back two electrons while only adding two back into the system when we initially cut out four. By removing two electrons, we bring the count down to 12, but we need to reduce it by one more to get 11. Do we remove it from the oxygen or the nitrogen? This isn't a very obvious answer. Instead, we'll jump ahead to formal charge and use that to help us figure out what makes more sense, keeping in mind that charge is a burden, and if possible, the atoms do not want to have a charge. I redrew the molecule twice so that we can try both options. On your exam, you can try one option in your head or make a quick mark cross out and calculate formal charge so that you don't have to redraw it. We'll try one version where we cross out an electron on nitrogen and another where we cross it out on oxygen and determine which one looks happier. We'll start with the formal charge for nitrogen where nitrogen should have five and directly attached we have one, two, three, four, five. Looks good. Five minus five is zero. Oxygen should have six Directly attached, we have 6, which gives us 0. Hint, hint, this one looks good. Let's try the structure on the right. Nitrogen, which should have 5, has 6 directly attached. 5 minus 6 is negative 1. Oxygen, which should have 6, has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 directly attached, giving me a charge of plus 1. The structure on the right has a separation of charge with negative 1 and positive 1. That's not happy, that's not stable, that is very likely not going to happen. But the structure on the left has a formal charge of 0 on both oxygen and nitrogen, making it as happy as can be under the circumstances and therefore the correct answer. Let's redraw this quickly so we see exactly what's going on. We have nitrogen double bound to oxygen where nitrogen has one radical and one lone electron pair, and oxygen has two electron pairs. We have no formal charge on the molecule. We want to verify that we have the correct number of electrons. That's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11. And going back to our checklist, electrons are accounted for. Formal charges of zero are accounted for, and we are good to go. To review Lewis structure and formal charge, watch the Orgo Basic series link below or visit my website layerforsci.com slash orgobasics. For more on radicals, click the link below or visit layerforsci.com slash radicals.